Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank Malarsic and in this video we're going to be doing a brief stock analysis on Lockheed Martin stock, ticker symbol LMT. So Lockheed Martin is a pretty big company but if you aren't aware what they do, basically they're an aerospace and defense company. So they basically develop a variety of, you know, products that mostly just governments buy from them. Uh, so they have, you know, a lot of planes and helicopters that they manufacture and make and then also you know a lot of missile systems and more weapons type stuff and then they also have some ventures into space and some you know things to do with space and uh, i think that is sort of their up and coming segments of their business so right now we're just going to look at their earnings from the second quarter of 2021 so as you can see here they had net sales of 17 billion dollars and earnings of 1.8 billion or six dollars and 52 cents per share and cash from operations was 1.3 billion and they also increased their 2021 financial outlook on earnings per share uh, so after earnings actually uh, just a week or two ago there was a fairly decent drop in the stock price and that was because of this item here it says second quarter 2021 net earnings included a loss of 225 million uh, which is 169 million or zero or 61 cents per share after tax recorded at the aeronautics segment which is related to performance issues experienced on a classified program so basically they say there that they have a classified program and since it's classified they really can't share uh, you know what's going on with that but basically they're saying uh, they're having some financial troubles there and actually in the next uh, document we're going to look at they explain that a little bit more so this right here kind of breaks down some of those numbers across the different segments so as you see here they have aeronautics missiles and fire control rotary and mission systems and then space so you know among the aeronautics segment which is the biggest they had around six and a half billion dollars in revenue there missiles and fire control around three billion dollars rotary and mission systems around four billion dollars and space around three billion dollars of revenue for a total revenue of 17 billion um, and then we look at profit down here aeronautics segment had 572 million dollars in profit missiles and fire control 401 rotary mission systems 458 and space 335 million um, and there's a little one right here and if we zoom in here at the bottom, it says that the company has experienced performance issues on a classified program at its aeronautics business segment. During the second quarter of 2021, the company completed a comprehensive review of the program and determined that estimated total costs to complete the program are expected to exceed the contract price. So uh, that's definitely not good if the you know costs that they are you know having for this project are more than the contract price which basically means they're going to lose money and i think they basically wrote that loss off of this quarter um so you know that is unfortunate um and it's sort of uh, a little bit odd since you can't really understand why that is or what happened there uh since it is classified so also i like that they included uh the you know balance sheet in this uh financial table here so they list the assets current assets around 20.6 billion dollars um, total assets around 52 billion and then current liabilities around 15 billion so um, it's a good you know 25 percent lower than the current assets so that's pretty nice to see and then total liabilities around 45 billion so overall i think uh, the balance sheet looks fairly good long-term debt is only around 11.7 billion so that's not bad at all i don't think for this type of company so overall i think the balance sheet looks pretty good Moving on here to look at the dividends. Currently, you can see they have a dividend yield of 2.87%, uh, which is an annual payout of $10.40. I think they just increased the dividend maybe sometime in the last few months. Uh, payout ratio around 39%, which is super awesome. That means they have plenty of room to increase that dividend. And they have a five-year dividend growth rate of 9.6%. Um, right here on Seeking Alpha, it says that they have only been increasing the dividend for two years, but uh, I think it's been around 18 years. I looked at some other sources and sometimes, especially with the dividend growth um, years, Seeking Alpha recently has not been super reliable. So I think it's around 18 years. So hopefully they can continue increasing that dividend and soon become a dividend aristocrat. And looking at their PE ratio here, you can see, you know, in the 2010s, it was pretty low, like 7, 8, 9. Um, then up around 2015, you know, it was 14, 15, 16. Uh, it had an interesting spike here, which was just due to a drop in earnings, which isn't good. But uh, we can kind of disregard that as that's sort of an anomaly. Um, and then right here, we're back around 16, 17, 14. And right now, the PE is around 14.14. So um, just from an understanding of where the overall market is at, you could uh, probably say that they're 
could be undervalued. Um, we want to look at the sector a little bit more as well. Um, so if we look at the industrial sector, um, they're going to be in this aerospace and defense industry. Uh, so looking down here, aerospace and defense, their PE ratio is 31.17, and the average for the uh, entire sector is 41.95. So, um, you know, compared to the sector and their industry, Lockheed Martin is definitely undervalued. Um, I have not done a DCF calculation myself, but I've seen, uh, you know, some other investors do those, and um, I think they've gotten share prices or, you know, fair value estimates close to $400, and right now it's trading around $360. So, um, as we can see here, yeah, 362. Um, and if we look at the month, you can see they did have that, you know, they've been dropping off since those earnings uh, that had that, you know, little loss on that classified program, which was, you know, just unfortunate that you weren't really able to see what that loss was about. Um, but if we look a little bit further out in time, you can see, uh, you know, back in around the new year, they were down around 320, which was a great time to be buying. I think um, I, I did buy some Lockheed Martin for my brother in his dividend portfolio. And I think I started buying maybe around 340. Um, we definitely added some around 360 here. I just added recently within the past week, probably. Um, so I definitely will be looking to add more. If it drops even more under 360, maybe around 340. Obviously, the lower it drops, the better. But um, in my opinion, so I think right now is definitely not a terrible time to be buying Lockheed Martin stock. Um, I think that in the future, uh, you know, it will go up and down just like all stocks. But I think right now is not a bad time. It's certainly not the best time. You know, it was a better time back in February. But um, at this point, I would personally say that Lockheed Martin is a little bit undervalued. So let me know if you guys do own Lockheed Martin. I would be interested to hear what you guys think of the stock. Um, I also recently did a video on a, another stock in the industrial sector and that one is caterpillar so i'll leave a link to that right up here if you guys do want to check that out and i just want to thank you guys for watching this video all the way to the end i really do appreciate that and i will see you in the next one